Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my first plan with me in my brand new 2023 Hobonichi Cousin for y'all. This one is actually going to be for the very last week of 2022, just the first day of 2023, but I'm still really excited about it. I love jumping into a new planner. I'm also excited because I'm using this New Year kit from my shop. This is actually one of our bundle of 12, 12 seasonal or holiday themed Hobonichi kits. And I particularly love this one because of the color scheme. I love how clean and bright it is for the new year. And I love the subtle hint of pale pink because you may already know pale pink is one of my favorite colors. So I'm super excited to be using this today. I have used this, I think twice in the past and I liked both those spreads a whole lot. So I'm expecting to like this one a lot as well, but I also wanna switch it up a bit and try some new things so that it can be a unique spread. And then to go with my spread, Here's something y'all haven't seen before. This is actually a Christmas gift that I got. It is a Twisby Eco fountain pen. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you may know that I have experimented with fountain pens before. I never found one I quite liked enough to switch over from my traditional gel pens, but <laughs> let me tell y'all, this is the one for me. I love it and I'll talk more about it in a future video. I have several videos planned um, upcoming for y'all. I don't wanna waste all your time right now. But as usual, we can go ahead and jump into this spread, um, and I'm not gonna flip through or speed through anything. I'm just going to start putting down stickers. So the videos I have upcoming, I have this plan with me, and I think before this plan with me, I'm going to upload a haul video that I've actually been meaning to upload for some time now, but I was waiting on the stickers and yeah, how that goes. But they're all here now. So I'm excited about that. And right now I'm gonna just write down my Bible verse for the week. And the other videos, I want to upload are a couple of setup videos um, slash flip through videos, which I love watching those, um, especially from my favorite planner people. So I'm really excited to upload these. I don't do that many because, well, I guess because the focus of my channel is Plan with me's they seem to be very popular and those are the videos that I post that get the most positive feedback and views but I'm hoping y'all will enjoy these flip through videos I'm going to be flipping through well I'm going to be setting up or showing you how I set up this planner right here which is one of my main planners for 2023 and I'm also going to be showing you um, another new planner style that I'm using that I'm very excited about and I forgot to mention because I'm out of the habit of planning, but I am going to list my planner, the pen I use, and I, I'll list the ink I used too down below. And any sticker shops I mentioned will also be linked down below. I'm really excited to get back into the habit of filming videos. It always makes me really happy to film videos for y'all. YouTube has definitely become one of my favorite parts of my job, along with filling orders. Um, and I'm especially happy about it lately because lately I've gotten a string of pretty negative or um, rude emails and messages, and it was really bumming me out there for a while. So I'm excited to get back into this part of my job, which tends to be very positive. So thank you for all your kind and positive comments. I really appreciate that. I don't know what it was about the people who were sending me um, those negative messages. I'm not sure if they just don't understand certain things like that I don't um, have control over the post office or things like that, but yeah, it wasn't very fun and I let it get to me more than I should have. So I'm glad that's over with now and I'm super glad to be filming this video right now. And I did realize that I left off the uh, book chapter and verse over on the sidebar. So I'm going to run over there and fill that in. It's Psalm 55, 22. Okay. Now we can set up the base of the spread. This is definitely gonna be a lighter spread because I was pretty much on vacation the whole week. So I'm going to put down my weekend banner. I haven't used one of those in a while, but I really like these. And then I'm going to put down my other full box. I guess I should put it on the night of the 31st. 
even though I didn't really um, celebrate, I was in bed by like 10 o'clock, so oh well. <laughs> anyway, I think that's gonna be it for my base spread. Let me go ahead and zoom you in and we'll get started planning the week. Okay, so on Monday, I was actually coming home from a vacation. I spent Christmas in Charleston, South Carolina with my family. So on this day, we were coming home. And in the morning, we just needed to do all the typical stuff to pack and clean and get ready to come home. So I'm gonna mark that with this pack bag sticker from my shop. Okay. On the way home, we actually stopped at this place called Bucky's, which I know I have a lot of followers and customers from Texas. And my Texas friends, um, you might be interested to know that I had never been to Bucky's before this day. I'd heard people talk about it before, but I had never experienced it for myself. And now I get it. Okay. I totally get why y'all love Bucky's so much. Um, if you've never been, I'm not sure if I should spoiler the surprise or not. I don't know, you've probably heard of it, but anyway, we just happened to be, we were driving from Charleston back home to where I live in North Carolina. So we happened to go through Florence, South Carolina, and there happened to be a Bucky's there. We saw the billboards for it, um, I don't know, probably like 80 miles away. We started seeing billboards for it. So um, we, my sister and I, knew what it was so we decided to take our little family on a slight uh detour to check it out and it was great um we picked up some beef jerky some fudge uh what else i think we got some pork rinds or there too and the bucky in the costume the big real life looking bucky was there and he was so cute so i'm gonna mark that we went to bucky's in my planner right here I mean, I, I want to go back to another one already. I didn't get to eat any of their prepared food, like at the little cafe they have in there. So I'll have to go back. If you have any recommendations, definitely leave them below. Um, and I will try to visit a Bucky's soon. Although I don't think we have one in North Carolina. I think there was going to be one, but they scrapped that project. So I'll have to go do a little bit more traveling. So the next thing I'm gonna mark is just our drive home. And I have a like method for doing this. I take this road washi tape, which is super old. I think it's from Michaels, maybe. And I'm gonna put that down. And then I'm going to take a car sticker and layer it on top like the car is driving on the road. So I guess it needs to be light pink or yellow. I use this light pink one from Happy Day. So cute. Okay, so then this evening, um, Ashley and I finished watching a Christmas movie that we had started while we were in Charleston, but we didn't have time to finish it because we had to go, we didn't have to, but we wanted to go check out some historic sites and that kind of stuff, so let's see if I can find a movie sticker that will match the spread real quick. Just use these, they're pretty plain and they will work perfectly fine. And then I can get towards using up this sheet. So this movie was called A Cozy, I think it was called, yeah, A Cozy Christmas Inn. I had to double check my notes sheet over there. So I'm just gonna mark that right here. Okay, and then 
I started reading a new book, which was called The Christmas Visitor. So um, in my family, we usually extend Christmas through New Year's. So you're going to see a lot of Christmas themed things going on uh, through the first. So I'm going to use this little reading Winston to mark that. Alright, and on to Tuesday. So, I was, like I said, pretty much taking this whole week off. On Tuesday morning, I finished the book I was reading, the Christmas Visitor book. It was like a little novella. So I'm going to write that down. And then on this day, I also wanted to do some writing. So I'm going to mark that with another dot. I really don't like how that check mark up there came out. That might have made it worse, but it's okay. <laughs> Oops. No, I guess I can make it work. Okay, not too bad. And then I wanted to do some planning because I got pretty behind while I was on vacation. It's always fun to jump back in. So I'm going to use I think this um, planning girl. Wait a minute. I haven't used a single box yet, so let me grab um, I'll take this darker yellow box and put that right here and then stack the little girl on top of it. And I'm going to add this plan script, which is from a shop that no longer exists. Okay. And then, <laughs> I, I think I mentioned this before, but I'm definitely like a workaholic person and I really like being busy all the time. So at this point, I'd already been on vacation with my family, and then I was home and still kind of on vacation, so I was pretty bored. I didn't really know what I wanted to do, so I am going to use this Bored Winston, one of my very favorites. He's so cute. And then the next thing, in the evening, Ashley and I had our weekly budget meeting, so I'm going to mark that. Um, I think I'm actually going to use... A new sticker that I got from Bubba Bear Studios and I'm going to put that on this gray sticker right here I think that'll work well So this is actually my first time using my uh, new pen on sticker paper and I'm noticing that it does not work that well. It sort of bleeds and I did not think about that. So what I'll probably do is get a different pen out from my collection real fast and use that to write on the stickers and save the Twisby for, you know, other stuff. So I'm gonna put down, let's try this again. I'm gonna put down this same label but skinnier and also the little sticker from Bubba Bear Studios. And then for my pen, I think a tool pen would probably be closest to the look of the Twisby, so I'm going to grab this tool pen in medium. I'll link this down below as well. And let's see how close I am. That looks pretty good. 
All right. So budget meeting, and I also started a new book in the evening. So let me grab a book sticker. I think I'm going to mark my reading less in this planner. I just feel like it's so repetitive, and I don't want to be annoying when I talk about it all the time. So um, I will probably try and start cutting down on that. Um, but for today, I probably want a pink book or a pink. Oh, this will work. Okay, I have this one from Rabbit Hole Handcraft. It's pink and yellow. So it's a good mix for today's spread. I am still kind of getting used to this pen. I've only had it for a few days, so sometimes I have to sort of like juggle it around. Okay. That should be a seven. Okay. On to Wednesday. It's on Wednesday morning. I did some more planning and I really like the way I marked it on Wednesday, I'm on Tuesday, so I'm going to take another label and put that down. And I don't know if I have more of those exact same stickers, but I know I have similar ones, so it'll be fine. Um, actually, I'm going to use this light yellow Rascog cart. This is from a shop that no longer exists. And I do have another plan script. Perfect. Okay, and then one of the big tasks I had for myself this day was to reorganize my leftover stickers binder, which I have shown on this channel before, I believe, but it's been a while. And that binder was just getting a little crazy, so I needed to reorganize it. Um, because what I've been doing was whenever I got a sampler, I was just taking the stickers off the sampler and sticking it in my leftovers binder, which is fine, I guess, but I, I had like food stickers mixed up with work stickers, with emotion stickers, with scripts and all kinds of stuff, and it's just really hard to keep track of. So I took them all out and reorganized it into categories, and it's so much better now. I can just dive right in and get whatever I want, and I'm actually using the stickers, so I'm really happy I took the time to do that. Okay, so I did that. I did some writing, so I'll probably mark that. The way I've been doing it for a while now with this pencil Winston and just a write custom script from my shop. And also Ashley surprised me this day. She had ordered a new coat for herself and there was like a buy one get one sale going on so she ordered me one while she was ordering hers so i'm going to mark that on this day i think i'm going to use like a sibling sticker if i can find one that i like and that matches the spread oh this will work this one's yellow and pink this is from happy day -a. and i'm actually gonna put this on a half box because i haven't used any of the half boxes yet so i will use my tool pen to fill this out. Stack that right on top. Okay, and then in the evening I actually wanted to do some printable work. I just kind of thought that that was something I could do productive. So I'm going to grab a little working girl sticker. This is from Stick With The Plan Co. Pop that down. And I am trying to get more printables up in the shop. It's just kind of a time consuming process. And also right now I am working on stuff for the birthday sale at the end of January. So a lot going on at the shop right now. I'm very excited. And at the end of the day, I'm going to mark the book that I finished reading. 
and this time I will use yellow. Okay. Let's go over to the second half of the week. So on Thursday, I wanted to fill some orders. So I'm going to grab some stickers for that. What should I use? Oh, I might use this. This is a new sticker I have from Teddy Plans Co. And it's really tiny, so it fits really well inside of this planner. Pop that down. And then after work, I actually wanted to make some vision boards, which I've never done before, but I'm trying to be more, I don't know what the word is, more specific about my goals. And um, just try to, I don't know how to explain this. I mentioned in, in videos before that I'm not a goal setting person. I've never been the type of person who says, um, you know, in one year I want to be doing this, in five years this, and so on and so forth. But I want to set more goals. So I started by making a couple of vision boards. And if you want to see them, I will show them in my flip through of this or setup video for this planner because they're actually in the front of this planner. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to be more proactive this year with my goals and I thought making a vision board would be a good way to, to do that. And I really actually like it. It was kind of hard to start, honestly, but I'm really glad I did it and I hope you'll enjoy seeing them if you check out my setup video. Okay, so next I'm just going to make some check marks in the planner to mark that I wanted to get some writing done. And we were having an end of the year sale starting the next day, so I'm going to uh, write in a couple of things for that. Okay. And Ashley and I just kind of hung out in the evening. We watched some TV, we ate some snacks. So I think I'm gonna mark that. Um, so I have these little panda stickers, which I think is supposed to be like a mom and child, but it's really cute and I like to use it for me and Ashley. So I'm going to write that in. And what else? Um, I started two books this night. I can mark that. So let me see. Flipping through my leftovers binder and you see how organized it is now? Sorry about the ring light glare, but I have like all my drink stickers over here and then like icons and stuff. And I love it so much better than it was before. I'm going to take this really cute reading panda from Happy Day again and stack that right there. It's pretty big, but it still fits in this planner, okay? Because I started two new books this evening.
Okay. Heading up to Friday. On Friday morning, I, I actually got a set of hot rollers for Christmas and I wanted to try using them for the first time. I've never used hot rollers before. And it didn't go super well, but I really want to keep trying. Some of them turned out pretty nicely, so I'm going to try it again next time I have like any reason to. <laughs> but for now, I'm just going to mark that I tried them out using this Curl Your Hair sticker from Happy Daya. It's so cute. She has the absolute cutest stickers. And I'll write in that I tried my new hot rollers for the first time. Then I had to go run several errands. So for that, I'm going to take hopefully one of our new um, Winter on the Go Winstons because I just am obsessed with him and he's so cute and I do have one in yellow. So let's put him right there. He's so cute. So I need to go to the post office, Hobby Lobby, get gas and go to Aldi. So let's start a checklist. We actually went to Hobby Lobby so Ashley could get a planner. She chose a happy planner for next year. And she's using some stickers in it, which is so adorable. And I really like it. Maybe I can get her to do a video on here and show her, show y'all how she plans if you're interested, of course. Okay, we got home, I had to do some chores. I wanted to do some laundry and also organize the linen closet because um, I also got some towels for Christmas. So needed to find a new home for those. And I also switched some of the um, older towels that we had out to the rag bin in our laundry room. So you know how it goes, just switching everything around. I'm gonna use a little cleaning Winston for that. Okay. And then I watched a movie. I watched um, National Treasure 2, so I'm just going to mark that with a little TV sticker. And I hope I've been in frame this whole time. I'm out of practice filming videos. Okay. And then at the end of the night, I think I'm going to mark that I made a chocolate mug cake. I am back into the mug cakes again. So I'm going to use this chocolate Winston. All right, and now we'll do the weekend. So on Saturday, Ashley and I actually went to visit this place called Old Salem, which if you are from North Carolina, or I guess anywhere local, you, I'm sure you've heard of this. It's a historic sort of village um, commemorating a Moravian settlement there. I've been before, it's a really interesting place, and at Christmas time it's really pretty. So we wanted to uh, run down there this day, I think this was the last day of the little Christmas programs. So we went over there um, and it was really fun. I like it a lot there. So I'm going to use this little sort of tourist girl to mark that. That's some stick with the plan code. Okay. And then attach to, you know what, I'm not even sure if it's part of Old Salem. There's this 
really big graveyard near Old Salem. It's called God's Acre. And I happen to really like walking through graveyards and it was raining this day. So it was like the perfect day to walk through a graveyard. I'm not sure if Old Salem owns God's Acre or who owns it because um, I know, and again, local people, you'll know what I'm talking about. I know that the Thavara Historic Site, which is another Moravian site close to Old Salem, I know that they give tours of God's Acre. I don't, I've never heard of Old Salem people giving tours of God's Acre, but maybe I'm just not in the loop. So if anybody knows off the top of your head, you could comment below if you want. But anyway, I'm going to mark that we walked around God's Acre in the rain, and it was really nice. Okay, and then when we got home, um, we actually watched another movie, another Christmas movie. I will mark that. I'm just going to keep using these TVs because they match really well. down this little sibling sticker. Well, I'm going to put it on this half box. And then I'm going to put down this little siblings sticker and I'll fill in that space later. But down here, I just wanted to mark that I did a lot of playing with my new planners and I had time today to set up my Twisby and all that stuff. So I say set up, but really all I had to do was fill it with ink. So I'm going to grab a couple planning stickers. I don't have any fountain pen stickers, so I'll have to get some of those. Um, okay, I have this big, I might use this. This is like a really big sticker from Kina Prince. It's like a planning girl at her desk and it matches the color scheme really well, so I'm gonna use that. It's really cute. Okay, on Sunday, in the morning first thing, I wanted to finish setting up my 2023 planners since it was the first day of 2023. And I was still being kind of wishy-washy with what I wanted to, how I wanted to set it up, what I wanted to mark, how I wanted to mark it, that kind of stuff. So I don't, I don't even know how long. I actually wrote out like a little plan for how I wanted to set up my planners and all this stuff. And I still wasn't decided by the time I had to set them up. So. But I'm really happy with how they turned out. I can't wait to film these setup videos. So, anyway, I'm gonna use this washi tape sticker from Stickerific to mark finishing setting up my 2023 planners. Okay, and then I'm going to mark that I had a cup of hot cocoa. Where's my, ah uh, yes, drinks is in this binder. I'm just confusing myself. Okay, so pink, yellow, or gray are the color options here. Let's see what we've got. I don't have that many hot cocoa stickers, um, but I do have this one from Paper and Milk that matches perfectly and it is so cute, so I'm definitely going to pop that in there. And I just bumped the tripod, sorry about that. Okay. And then this day was the laziest day ever. I laid on the couch, I watched some stuff, I read books, I ate some chips, and that was about it for the whole day. So 
I think I'm going to take this Lazy Day Sloth sticker, which is from my shop. It's one of my all-time favorite stickers and just pop him down right there. He does come in multicolor, by the way. And that will take up most of the day. Um, I did take the trash out in the evening because in the evening, Ashley and I went to go look at some Christmas lights. Since people are going to be taking them down soon, we wanted to go check out a few more. But to mark taking the trash out, I am going to take... No, I either want to use one of these from Sticky Piggies or... Where's that other sheet that I wanted to use? Well, this one from JB Planning, which no longer exists, but I think I'm gonna use this because it matches better. And I can just put it right here, and I know what it means. It's so cute. Actually, I think I'm gonna move it over and right next to it. Come on. There you go. I just really like writing with this new pen, so. Okay, trash out. And then we went to go check out the lights, as I said. So for that, um, I could use a Christmas sticker, I guess. This will be the last Christmassy thing I mark for this year. Um, so how do I want to do that? I think I might use this really cool, really big Nutcracker sticker from Libby, Libby and Lou Sticker Co. It matches pretty well and I love Nutcrackers, so. And the last thing for the evening was finishing two books. So let's grab some stickers. I think I'm going to take this little tan cozy winter reading Winston. He's so cute. And write that in. And that is going to take care of my week. Straighten this up for you and zoom you out just a touch. Okay, so there we have it. There's my first spread of my new planner and I love it. I love this kit so much. It's so fun and festive and this is always one of my favorite weeks of the year just because it's so relaxed and just nice. I just like it. So I hope you had a great new year and thank you so much for tuning in again to my channel and I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for your support and I will see you next time. Bye.